region in northeast in the northeast part of our state has some of the longest court wait times in North Carolina. The region includes Halifax County, which you see here highlighted in red to fix the delays. They swore in their first class of assistant public defenders. WRAL's Heidi Kirk met one of them as well as the woman who recruited the whole group. It's one of her first trips of many to the Halifax County Courthouse. Sharita Gooding picked out a pantsuit for her swearing in as an assistant public defender for District 7's new public defender office. It's been a no brainer for me to come into an area that definitely needs it. It takes a special type of person to serve a rural community with a high crime rate as a public defender. But for her, it's an honor. I had a sibling who was in prison, um, and so I was definitely inspired. My goal was I was going to get him out. From the age of two, she knew she wanted to be in a courtroom, helping people just like her brother. He was able to get out before I ever finished law school, so now I got to provide that uh, advocacy that I was going to provide to him to other people that, you know, may be in similar situations. There's no way to describe the excitement in the Halifax County courtroom as eight new assistant public defenders were sworn in. Tonza Ruffin got these eight people here, pulling many of them from communities across the state. My goal is not just to shove people through the court system, but to make connections with the people that we represent. In January, we reported about the justice system's challenges in rural communities like Halifax County. We found in District 7, felony cases had an average of 667 days pending in court. It's not fair to them. I mean, if you have an issue that's not resolved within the criminal justice system, that can affect a lot of other things in your life. Ruffin urged us to come back just months from now to see the progress she hopes to make. Heidi Kirk, WRL News, Halifax County. So the public defender's office has started handling cases in Hertford County. The other three counties will follow.